Hey guys, today we are going to discuss how to actually unlock all engines in sandbox mode without actually obtaining them in career mode. So by, by default, the game only allows you to play in sandbox mode the, the engines you've already unlocked. But I've had a, a few people actually ask me, how would you, how do you unlock everything at once in sandbox mode? So in this video, I'm going to show you. Now, firstly, we have to actually visit a website called nexusmods.com. That's N-E-X-U-S-M-O-D-S.com. Link in the description. You will then need to actually create an account. Now, I'm logged in, but you'll, be, you'll see a create account top right. Click on it, fill the form in. Probably have to activate it via email. You're done, you're in, you can then download. Now, what I'm going to do first is show you what not to do. So first of all, you might click on mods and then think, oh, get Vortex. Now, Vortex is the official software which can install mods. As he says, if we could, could go down to it, multi-game support, mod profiles, it looks very nice. And if we click on download, then basically you'll see it's quite a lot. Uh, always going to be the top file is the latest. You would then click on manual download and it will tell you to download. Now you're going to need .NET 6 if you click on there or open up a new tab which you can download .NET 6 if you need it and Windows 10 or above. Click download. It will then download the file to your PC where you install it. Now I will show you why don't bother doing this. So this is Vortex. Once you've, uh, if you do try the software you need to log in or click up on here so please log in. It will go back to the website. It asks you just to verify again and it will log you in. So the actual login is done on the website and on here, but then you can download things. Now this will probably work with other games, but it just doesn't with uh, Duo Valley. So if we go to extensions, um, these are the games it's seen on my PC that's compatible with, and you could do something with. We have to click more and click on, well, you type out DRAL, that's good enough, click on it. And then you click install. Need to restart to actually, uh, by changes. Well, I'm only going to go through this very quickly because you don't do it. Just don't do this. Now, after we've done that, we should be able to. Yep, you will not be able to actually see Deval Valley on on the search under games until you've actually done that step. So, okay, we'll activate it. Here we go. This is why you don't do it. You seen it? Unity Mod Manager not installed. Wait. You don't really install it, you just place it in a folder. Um, maybe it's not in a folder it can see. But the point being, you can actually just use that without this software and it's a lot easier. The problem with that software is that your virus protection is probably going to see it as a virus. That's a, that's a pity that that's the case. But anyway, so we are going to go back to, back to the website. DV Utilities. This is the mod we actually want to download. So click on search. And you're not going to show. Go, on, go back to home page, then click on search. Here we go. There's two versions set by the same author. This is the desktop version. This is the VR version. Pick the version you want. Click on it. So this is the mod to actually do that. And it does a few other things as well. Click on it, it tells you what it does. So you can get all licenses, you can lock up garages, refill loco, repair, and a few other things as well. Right, so we want to click on download. Yep, yeah, we do. And then we're going to click on files. And just like last time, it's the top one. It's 1.1.1 as of making the video. Maybe different when you click on this. One manager download. No, we don't need manual download. There we go. So now this time it tells us we need the utility. Unity Mod Manager. I want to say it wrong, don't I? So we click on there. It opens a new um, tab. And again, we're going to go to Files. And we are going to go manual. Well, look, it's again, it's 0 0.2.76. 0 0.27.6. That's the latest version. Click Manual. Download. You'll click uh, Slow Download. Once you have this, you can hit Download on this one. Exactly the same. Slow download, unless you've got the uh, premium version. Once we've downloaded uh, Unity Mod Manager, we need to actually locate our computer. Now, hopefully you've actually created a, uh, a folder like me. Now, I've called it Nexus. You can call it wherever you want. So I've put it in this location. You can put it wherever you want, but some it needs its own folder. So you'll right-click it, and you're going to extract now. 
Now, I will tell you straight away that uh, if you're running the Avast antivirus, it will flag it. It will immediately then take this virus away and it will go beep, 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 beep. So it's going to happen. So I'm going to let it happen. So here we go. There, extract. There we go. I was waiting for that. Now, other antiviruses may actually pick them up as well. So click on see details and you can see it's flagged up some files. Now, depending on the antivirus you're using, if this happens, you're going to have to go into the quarantine area and then you're going to have to find the file and actually click on it. Well, in this case, click on the uh, dots. You can either just restore it, but don't do that because it's going to flag it again. Restore and add exception. There you go. Now it's going to be happy. It won't mess around with you anymore. And you can close all that and it's ready to use. Once you've done that, we can then open Utility, Unity, I can't say it, Unity Mod Manager. Now, the first thing you need to do is choose your game. Now, you can see it's really uh, decides to Valley, Valley. So I've, I've used this before. And you, you find it on the list, click on it, and then hopefully it will automatically show your folder. If not, it says, well, if you click on here, it says choose path to the game. As you can see, see, it's actually found it. So it's in Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, d -Rail Valley. So wherever your Steam uh, folder is located, my for instance on my E Drive, Games, down to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and d -Rail Valley. That's it, we're pretty much ready to go. We click on Install. Then the next thing we need to do is actually install the, uh, the mod we just downloaded. So we go back to the uh, the upper folder and the one we're going to install is DV Utilities and we just literally just drag it on top of it and it's done, that is it. The game is now ready to go. Now, there are things you can actually do. If you right click, you can only install it if you want. You can go to the home page where you can open the folder. But if we click on the folder, you can now see there's a folder called DVR Valley. As soon as we click to install on there, that's what it's installing. So if we click uninstall, it should re remove it all as well. So any mods we basically uh, do, there you go, there it is. See that list there, that is that folder. So if you remove this, that will probably go away. Either way, it's installed. So in a sec, we'll just load the game up and we can actually have a look. Here we go. So since you've opened the game up, you'll see this. This is Mod Manager. The first thing you want to do is actually hotkey it. So I've got Control and F10. You can click on it and choose any keys you want. And click Save. Now the mod we've got is uh, the utilities, but if you install any more, they'll be listed here. You can switch them off and on. And once on, click Save, click Close. Control and F10 will bring it back again. There you go. Or oh, it closes it. Now, sessions. We don't want to touch the career. Or I don't want to touch the career because I'm quite enjoying playing that. So I don't want that to suddenly have all the engines. So let's um, load. That's it. That's the one. Now I've done it on this one already. So if I go back to this one, this doesn't have it. Click load. Click start. Now what you're going to see on the top left is a U. Now if I press Alt, this gives me the mouse. So you've got to the top and click on it, you can do things. I'm not going to do it quite yet. I press Alt again so we can go back to here. So if we go down to here and so Licenses and click there. Now I've got quite a few already because I've been playing a while. But uh, there should be a couple still... There we go. S282. Now I do have some others as well but they're not showing up on here. Either way, so if we then click Alt, click on there, and click Acquire all Local Licenses, it's now done. Now if I click on there again, it closes. Now I cancel this out, go down to Licenses, back down. There you go, that's the SH2 which we didn't have a moment ago. Now, there's other things like, uh, well, this doesn't have fees, but if you wanted to, you could actually, uh, 
if it's about can we no you can refill loco repair loco so that would pretty much get rid of that wouldn't it you can lock all garages remote control for the d6 comms radio spawner uh, free reroute we clear and delete persistent settings it depends whether you want to you know, keep that or not um weather you can change the weather you can uh Oh, you can lock the time, that's it, yes. So if we just want to keep it at 1 at 50, uh, 58 or 57 uh, a.m., then you could do that. I think we can actually just change it. Yeah, we can. So press Alt. It's midnight. Press Alt again. There we go. And if I lock time, it's always going to stay at mid midday. I suppose you could cheat, actually, on this and do a job with and always be on time with your job. It wouldn't be it wouldn't have a time, would it? There you go. It doesn't affect uh, the main save. So if we um, so if we go back to sessions, um, career. Now, unfortunately, my games are a bit glitchy. This is nothing to do with this mod. It's happened a few episodes ago. I've actually mentioned this. A lot of the furniture in this house has just become white. I don't know why. So, press Alt. Go to the steel mill. Fast travel. Yep. I think the GH4 I haven't got yet. 282. So, there's only the two which I haven't all got yet, and I've got those legitimately. Train length, a few, a few other things. So, I've got some trains before I got train length, but there you go. That's a, that's a dim discussion. The point being, yeah, it doesn't really affect this. So there's quite a few different mods on here you can actually use. It's exactly the same process. You just so you can actually this one reskins the uh, the DM3 to look like a Class A3. Well, it's just it's in BR basically. It's not really done anything to the Eternals. By the way, I'm sure you get the point. Um, there's quite a few mods you can play with. Um, today I just showed you that one, but uh, maybe we can have a look at some more at some point. That's going to be it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe and press that ding dong bell button. You know what it does. See you next time. Bye, -bye.